They'll be calling you a radical. I got to do a video on this. Her name is not Cheryl. This is a big, big story. Trotsky to the head. Len, as I went out in Budapest, I went out to the Camaria Park, the Memorial Park. Nobody even knows there. You ought to see where that thing sits. Lenin on Balco, Trotsky to the head. This is a major story. Everybody, I love it. I love it. All these. This is where everybody does activism. I meet so many activists around the world. Everybody's an activist. Then you ask them about answers. They got no answers. Stop their feet. Mad. Raise their hand. They, you know. Yeah. They understand the problem. They're still trying to get to the problem. I mean. And then they're saying, so you show them right in their face. These people have names and addresses. These are real people. Let me explain about the sock puppet monkey here. This criminal globalist. This is the queen of the NSA. This is the queen of the top of the heap. This is her. Her husband murdered in Mexico? Trotsky to the head. Absolutely. Oh, we just found him dead on trial. Now let's talk about who her husband is. Let's talk about who she is. Oh, her husband was at Harvard with Skull and Crossbones with Barry Antoinette. The rat. Oh yeah, he's black. Ha! <laughs> yeah, if he's black, I'm black. <laughs> He's whiter than I'm white. Barry, Barry Antoinette. I mean, it's so, okay, so who is she? We know Facebook, I use Facebook because that's how we have to communicate because my phones don't work. By the way, you come to Europe, I want, I'll talk a little bit about this too, about the so globalists and their Euro. You think they've all in Euro? No, they've all pushed back Euro. The thing in Greece is not just happening there, it's happening here. They want no part of the Euro here. You pull out Euros on. In Budapest, they'll freaking, in Hungary, they'll kick your ass you start trying to use your in the Czech Republic and don't call it Czechoslovakia they'll kick your ass they want no part of euros I mean and it's not it, it's more than you think so they're, they're pulling back the same thing it's like just now okay I found this beautiful old postcard to mail to my beautiful granddaughter and I'm like where's the post office you can't find a post office here so finally I meet this beautiful young girl she says follow me come on you know we're both lost, so we get. She lives here. She lives here, and we can't even find the damn post office. So we get to the post office. It's a museum. It's my thesis. My thesis is this: everybody thinks that the, every every city in America, every place in America, it's tourism, tour, nothing but cultural theme parks, including Utah, where I live. They're all theme parks, cultural theme parks. No, 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 people live here, people work here, people have to function here, so you just think it. Everybody travel and just thinks that's all it is. No, these are communities. With, I mean, it's it's amazing to me. So, we finally find the post office, the real one. So we go to the post office, it's a museum, so we finally find the real one. And I'm like, wow, I started wondering, he says, oh yeah, they're doing their best to get it. I says, yeah, it's just like the US. We're so ignorant, we're so dogmatic, we're so gone, they tricked us so hard. We, the post office in the United States is extremely efficient, incredibly efficient. You know, and you've been dogmented to think it's not when it is. So it's something that's free, you get it free, your 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 dogma's so gone, you're I'll get rid of it. I'm a free market fairy tale or get rid of it. You know, so my taxes go down when your taxes go up. Up is down, it's black is white. Your taxes don't go down, they go up. Oh, the economy of fear, bombs, bomb, Trotsky to the head, so you can pay this rat bitch. Yeah, that's what she is. Fuck, fuck her. You know, all these fucking globalists, and you guys just sit back and take it. She murdered her old man. I mean, he was whacked Trotsky to the head. Wasn't he in control of this company? Oh, yeah, he was on the board of this company. Now she is. Now, she was placed as the CEO. Okay. Facebook didn't pick her. <laughs> they tell him. It's just like Brandon Sin, uh, Google. They'll say, okay, Barack Obama, Barry Antoinette, stands on Friday the 13th in February and turns over the internet to Homeland Security he, I mean, with an executive order. Okay, Abe from Fukushima comes to Harvard, the head of the snake, then plops over to MIT Media Lab, the people that killed Aaron Swartz. You know, people don't understand here in Europe I talk about, it's very dangerous being an actress in the US. And by the way, I would never commit suicide. Never, ever, ever, not even close. No, I mean, I've been through some ups and downs. Oh, I love life. Yeah, I don't need much in life, you know. And like I said, I found one thing that I love more than those beautiful Czechoslovakian, excuse me, I almost slipped again, Czech females, Hungarian females, Danish food, by the way, you know. In the United States, they hate me, you know, because I'm an activist and I'm outspoken, you know, I, not here. Here, it's amazing. They love me here. You know, all over Europe, I've had nothing. People walk up, they, I mean, amazing, the difference because they respect activism. They preach people that stand on the reality. 
I'm a carpenter what's a hammer. I'm a baker what's a cake. I'm an anti, I'm a climate changer. I hate the climate change. What's Fukushima? You know, I'm a social inequality. I'm Occupy. I'm all these movements. I'm all that. What's a tariff? What's a usury law? What's an antitrust law? You have to have answers. It's the ignorance. You can't just go, oh, I'm Amnesty International standing right over there passing. You try to talk to no shit. You know, Greenpeace is very different here than they are there. Somebody says, oh, you're rants. Oh, yeah, they're rants. But they're articulate. I mean, I've done the work. I've walked the walk. I don't eat, sleep, drink it. I literally sleep with it in my juggler. So she, look, this is the head of the NSA, the complete globalist control rat. She's queen rat. And I love it. Her name's not Cheryl, just like Lennon. Lennon, Lennon. You know, I was out of the park. You think his name was Lennon? You think he lived in there? It's just like the wars is going on in Ukraine. You know what kind of natural resources? You know what kind of wealth exists in Ukraine? What they're doing to Ukrainian people? It's simply the old Eastern royals versus the Western royals. It's never changed. It's never changed. It's the same war. It went from sugar war to cotton war to you know the human slavery wars. It's plutonium wars now. I mean, it's amazing to me. It's just like I had an argument with a guy just about nuclear just now. I was at the Danish, by the way, the only thing I love more than the Czech females and the Hungarian females and these Danish beautiful women, they're amazing, by the way. These people are so down to earth, they're so great, is the Danish pastries. Oh, these pastries here, oh, oh. You know, I could eat them three times, and I found a really great juice bar over here, so, you know, and I've got a, uh, Dane from the internet who found me, he's allowed me to stay there, I mean, he's great, you know, so. The resources that exist, I mean, they, they don't care what they do to the people. They don't care these globalist rats. There's tools to fight back globalists. I'm an anti-globalist. Who's Alexander Hamilton? Who's Alexander, what's the term? I'm an American, what's revolution? Are you kidding? Yeah, it's a revolution of the mind, of the heart. Yeah, just like it was then. They fought back the globalists. America fought back the globalists. We're having the same thing. So the post guy, he says, oh yeah, they're doing their damnedest to get rid of it. So he says, oh, we gotta get rid of it. So you're willing to, oh, we're gonna get rid of any of a social safety net and it's gonna lower your taxes. No, it's not. Because your economy fear, you fell for it. You're willing to hand over every dime you make to build bombs for these globalists. The military industrial complex in the United States is insane. It's insane. It's so out of control. There's no jobs. Millions of people slipping in the streets in Santa Cruz. I won't stop there. Freaking drought killing the freaking atmosphere. I won't stop there. I mean, it really is right there. It is really right there. You know, somebody says, these aren't rats, the people are the rats. Yes, you're right, you're right. I stand corrected. It's true, because he's standing right there. I won't stop there. The emperor has no fucking clothes. The emperor has no fucking clothes. And people don't even know that, and we're gonna do, I met this great guy with a flute. Wait till you see this video we're gonna do this afternoon, this activism with our flute. You know, read into what the Pied Piper story really was. Leading the disease out, leading the disease out. I mean, these Lamberths and these fairy tales and these stories were very important socially to teach people, to teach people anti-globalism, anti-royals. These were, you know, intuitive, moral stories. He was a radical. He was a rebel. The emperor has no clothes. What does it mean? Oh, come on. The children see. I mean, academia is captured. She, this woman, come on, look up her real name. Lenin. He lived in Switzerland. He didn't live in Russia. His name wasn't Lennon, just like Barack Obama. His name isn't Barack Obama. He grew up in freaking Thailand with a busy father, just like Barry Antoine, or excuse me, Bill Walmar Clinton. His real name? No, no. He, who was his father? Killed? Freaking, hmm, huh. I mean, it's amazing. Hillary Rodham Clinton, you know, George Walker Bush, Walker Bush, the Royals, they never left. We fought back on them, fled me in America, bled and died. We were the great, I mean, I, when I grew up in America, ah, 60, 70, the greatest socialized people in the world. The average person made 106,000, 1945, 97, increasing nominal weight. It was the most wonderful place in the world, it was incredible. I was so lucky, and you wanna talk females then? People, I mean, we were so communal, we were so beautiful, we were so in California, Utah, all over, every place in the United States. What an incredible place, what an incredible time. We got to see, what have we done to our baby wolves? <laughs> we gave them no chance. It's sad what we've done to our, it's horrible. But, you know, it, it, you stomp your feet, you get mad. But when you get right down to the crux of the details, like talking about cancer, you'll pull back. You'll pull back every time. Not here, not here. They're anti-nuclear in freak of most of Europe. I mean, they want to have these conversations. They're educated about these, very educated about it. Germany, Austria. You know, amazing. I was in Czechoslovakia at the reactor, the leaking reactor. I was there. 
I didn't get out of the train because it was right there, but I've got photos right there, the one that's leaking. I mean, it's a catastrophe. You know, here we don't get as much sun yet. They do such a good job with windmills here. By the way, they don't use dryers. Everybody has clotheslines inside their house. Their consumption, and it is the big answer, is the lower your consumption. We're consumption mad in the U.S. We're sick, you know, but you're willing to hand over all your money for the economy of fear. You're willing to let NSA spy on you, and you say, oh, I can't use Facebook. Well, let me tell you, if you're watching this video, the NSA, she, Cheryl, just said, you need to put some clothes on and vacuum. I mean, so it's amazing to me. But this is where all the activism happens in this square. The Dalai Lama's birthday yesterday, I've met all kinds of federal activists, but I've been all over the city. I found the best authentic places, real, I mean. And the rule in Europe, if it costs money, you probably don't want to go. If it's free, you want to go. The cheaper is the better. And I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. The, the authentic is in this. The authentic people that are not in the tourism crowd, whatever, you, a little bit off the beat, they're magnificent. You can see how down to earth. And so I'll be heading to northern Denmark. I've traced down my family roots there. And I sure so I'm going to head up there. I'm going to meet with some activists in Germany, it looks like. I'm working on this. We're, we're working on different stuff around Europe, being to put it together, trying to get it organized. But, you know, it's the same thing as U.S. These fraction movements all there, and everybody's pissed, just like the climate march. 450,000 people in a parade. You know, and they stomp your feet. I'm an anti-climate changer. What's Fukushima? Really? I'm a baker. What's a cake? I'm a fisherman. What's a boat? You know, by the way, out of the aquarium in Denmark, which is grand, that is a magnificent place. And it's not just the aquarium per se of where it sits. It's so spectacular. Every, you know, from young to old, every person I talked to, they knew more about the Pacific Genocide than the Monterey Aquarium by 10 times, by the aquariums of California. Yeah, 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 California. They're one, I mean, the first guy I talked to about my age, we started talking about it, and he was telling me stuff about it, and he got emotional. You could see he got tears in his eyes. Same, everybody in there. There are very grounded people here. They're, they're wonderful, by the way. I mean, the Danes that I've met that, and I could say the same thing about the Czechs, say the same thing about the Hungarians, same thing about the Austrians. They're amazing people, really great people. And, you know, it's been so comfortable for me because as an activist and my style and the way I do, you know, I'm under so much heat in the U.S. all the time. I get spit on, things so wrong. I mean, I walk that entire one. I document everything. People treat me like shit. They don't treat me like shit here. They respect what I do, and then we have conversations, and they're like, wow, you've got answers. This globalist bullshit is backfiring in their face. It's not going to work. Fuck the royals. Fuck the queen. I talked to people Lennon, you know, and fuck her uranium mines. Fuck their globalist fucking currency. Fuck them. Everybody's sick of their shit. You know, we're tired of their fucking globalist shit. The United States, the participation rate's under 50%. People don't realize. I see people walking around with Santa Cruz shirts all, all over. You said, no, no. You go to their cultural theme park. That's all California is. It's a drunk theme park. You know, hundreds of thousands of homeless people. You know, your false bravado and your fake equity and your FEMA camp, you're paying them. You are in FEMA camp here because you're afraid. America, home of the cowards. You know, you put yourself in a fucking FEMA camp. You fucking buy your guns and your fucking bullets because you're falling for the fear. It's the economy of fear. You know, get your gold, guns, silver, fuck it. You know, you want, it's about the spirit. Oh, I got answers. Put tariffs back in the port. Usury laws, maximum usury law in the United States was 6% above prime. Prime substance is worth 1%. Enforce antitrust laws that exist. You know, you want to exploit a hungry person from Mexico, you want to freaking destroy their economy in Mexico, which NAFTA did, so they're desperate people. And you want to take advantage of that and exploit that, it's bullshit. It's bullshit. You don't pay them fair wage. Oh, minimum wage? What does it matter if minimum wage is $100 an hour? Because none of you are paying it. You're all fucking paying under the table. You're all cheating the system. That's why you're getting junk work. Your fake fucking rock, your styrofoam fucking mansions. They're pieces of fucking shit. I was a contractor for years. I won't stop there. First they come for the craftsmen. For I was a craftsman. Then they come for the humans through the cancer in their body. For I was a cancer victim. I'm a survivor. I don't eat, sleep, drink this shit, talk this shit. I have more than skin in the game. I have blood in the game. I watch my father die from these monsters murdering him. I watch Annika if that feminine girl from the Ukraine died. I know the dynamic of Ukraine, what they're fucking doing to these people. It's outrageous. Fucking, it's so fucking hardcore. What? What? So you can have another fucking bomb to point at somebody and you fall for this dogma. She's a rat. She's an NSA hardcore fucking rat. And these people, and you say, oh, well, just get off the grid. No, 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 fuck them. 
Fuck them. It's not their country. They act like it. They're not going to take away what we use. And who the fuck do they think they are? They think it's their country, their world, their air, their jet stream, their fuck, their food. Fuck no. It's not theirs. It's none of ours. It's all borrowed. It's all... I mean, we don't even borrow. We're only here for a short time. We're only here for a short time, you egomatic Eric motherfuckers. You know, so this is a big deal. Fuck these globalists. Fuck every fucking one of them. But there's tools to stop them. And the same fight's here. It's like he said, yeah, they're doing their damn And I said, yeah, just like in the U.S. We're so dogmatic and stupid in the U.S. Oh, get rid of a very efficient system. Oh, it'll lower your taxes. No, it won't. Your taxes ain't going down. You're going up because they're just going to fucking extort more and more and more of you. You know, you surfs. And fuck all you surfs in academia. You fucking surf rats that do nothing. You think serfdom's the way to go. You fucking baby kings. You're not a baby king. You're a fucking just a peasant just like us. And in America, there's only one thing. You got your royals. You got your serfdom. You got your indentured slaves. You got your peasants. But underneath that, you have the activist, the one who has answers, the fucking real one. I burned my PhD in fucking protests. We're under the fucking pyramid. We get spin on because I got answers. I'm affected just like my surviving fucking cancer. You want to tell me how to survive cancer sending? I had AML to do both. Doctor here saved my life. Less than 1% survival. I'm alive. Yeah, you're still going to tell me. You know, you're still, that's the dogma of America. You fucking make it up as you go. I'm about results. I'm about answers. I'm what, about an effective activist. And I've met tons of people, and I'm making a fucking headway here. A lot of headway. And we're slowly organizing, and we're doing this. It's hard work for me. It's very difficult. Sleeping on fucking trains in fucking hostels. Fucking scripping, scrapping around. Fucking hoping somebody comes around to help me. In which, I mean, it's tough. It's, you know, but I'm willing to do the dirty fucking work. I can get in. The, I met a couple that works for the NRC today. You can't make it up, Marilyn. Met them. I met people from the nuclear industry all the time because they get free money. It's a cash cow. You surf them fucking rats. They don't fucking work, so they just travel around, stay in their fucking $500 a night hotels. Fucking anything, you know. It's outrageous. Not me. I'm organic. I mix where they mix. I get involved in the middle of the people. I'm with the people. That guy right there, the emperor has no fucking clothes. Stay in tuned.